let's talk about how I am going to monetize this small health and fitness YouTube channel. My name is Heather, and I am going to start documenting the things that I am doing to get this YouTube channel to a point where it can be monetized. So in order to be eligible to become a YouTube partner, you need to have 500 subscribers. This is like the eligibility requirements. There's a couple different eligibility requirements. The first is that you need to have 500 subscribers. You need to have three video uploads in the last 90 days. And then you need to have one of the following. You need to have 3000 public watch hours in the last 365 days. And then, or you need to have 3 million shorts views. So where I am today, Today is uh, July 13th, 2024. I am at 65 subscribers. I do have the three videos in the last 90 days. And then I have 22 public watch hours in the last 365 days. I don't post a lot of shorts. I don't watch a lot of shorts. So I'm not planning to post a lot of shorts. I, I, I enjoy long form content. So you'll be seeing more long, long form content on this channel versus the, the short content. This is probably one of the trickiest parts about this particular YouTube channel is that I started this YouTube channel in 2013. It's 2024. I really didn't do anything with it. I was doing a headstand challenge where I was doing headstands as part of my yoga practice. And I was doing like 30 days of headstands and I had a whole bunch of people doing it along with me. And I was posting me doing headstands and giving tutorials and that kind of thing about how to do different types of headstands. And so I got a few subscribers just from that particular challenge. So again, this is two th like late 2013 into early 2014. I ended up hurting my back in 2014. So I had to stop doing the headstands. So I kind of stopped with the YouTube channel. At this time, I was doing bodybuilding competitions. I did a competition in 2013, a one in 2015, and one in 2017. If I started this channel in 2013, like I kind of wish I was documenting my training and nutrition and the things I was doing and the things that I was feeling. And I didn't do any of that, mostly because I just didn't know how to edit videos. I, I, I knew how to record them. I had an iPad that I could record videos from, but I really just, I had no clue how to edit videos. I was like, that's really for video guys and girls. It's not me. I'm a tech person. I work in tech, but that's just not really my thing. So I didn't document that. And that is what I'm starting to do now more with this YouTube channel. If we just look at the history of this channel, I started it in 2013, posted headstand videos. Then 2021, 2022, I got my yoga teacher certification. I got certified as a 200 hour yoga teacher. I'm working on my 500 hour. I got certified as a stand up paddleboard yoga instructor. I got certified as a stand up paddleboard instructor. And then I got certified as a yoga trapeze instructor, which is very similar to aerial yoga. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna turn this into a yoga YouTube channel. Well, then shortly after that, I broke my leg. So I couldn't do the yoga. So again, the YouTube channel just kind of got put on the wayside again. And so now what I'm doing is because if I look back at when I was doing fitness competitions, bodybuilding competitions, I really wish that I had that sort of diary of the different training sessions and things that I was feeling and what I was doing for nutrition, things like that. I have it all in written format. I had check-ins with my coach and it's interesting to go back and read those. And I might make a video here sharing some of those with you, but it's interesting going back and reading those. And I kind of wish I just had the videos of just me talking and thinking about things. So what I'm doing with this channel is now what I'm doing is documenting my fitness comeback from this injury. And the idea is to share with people who are in midlife that want to make some sort of a fitness comeback, whether you're coming back from an injury, an illness, a disease, whatever it is, you've been cleared by your physician to, you know, go do the things and just starting to make that fitness comeback. Or maybe you're just, you got busy, things got put on the wayside and you just want to get back to it. And like, maybe nothing big happened. It's just life happened, <laughs> which is big, but life happened. And sometimes we just get out of our, our, our health and fitness and wellness routines. And so maybe you were, you know, you're doing good in your twenties and thirties and then forties things started to slip. Let's get back to it. So that's what I'm documenting now on my YouTube channel. I am currently in the process of training for the Grand Canyon. So I'm doing a weekly check-in, much like I would do with a coach, just you know, going over training and nutrition, sleep, hydration, stress, anything else that's going on, that kind of stuff. And then I'm also doing something that I'm calling Dashboard Diaries, which is where I'm just talking in the car about a particular topic, things that come up in conversation, things I see on the internet. 
stuff like that. Let's go over some of the analytics of where I am with this channel right now. I just read to you what I have as far as eligibility for the YouTube Partner Program. But if we go over to my channel analytics and look at the lifetime analytics for my channel, I am currently at 13.6K views, 162.88 watch time hours, and then I've got 65 subscribers. So I probably got just a, sh like probably into the 50s or 60s from doing the headstand challenge. So these are probably subscribers. If you're watching and you're one of them, hi, hello, thank you for still being here 10 years later. <laughs> I did get that, you know, probably 50-ish, I don't know, around there, subscribers from that particular challenge. Then when I started posting yoga videos on YouTube, I started getting a couple more subscribers. So when I restarted this is this, all right, we're documenting the fitness comeback. I had 61 subscribers. I'm now at 65 subscribers. So what I'm going to do to grow this small channel, this small health and fitness YouTube channel is to continue to document what I am doing as part of my fitness comeback. But then I'll also be answering some questions, some top questions that a lot of women have as they are in their 40s and trying to make this fitness comeback. Again, like it's, it can be from an injury, whatever might have happened, okay? Or maybe it's just life. So if you're a person who's just like, things got busy, I got really super involved in my career, I went back to school, you know, I have... Kids, I, I'm taking care of parents. There's all this stuff going on. But let's take some time for ourselves and for our own health and wellness. My goal here is to be a 100-year-old badass still posting my workouts on Instagram. That's what I want to be. I'm going to share these videos every so often. I don't know how frequently I'm going to post them, but I just wanted to share just sort of this is where this YouTube channel is right now. Let's see how long it can take to monetize a small health and fitness YouTube channel. I do watch another YouTube channel where this woman documented her journey of monetizing her channel and it took her 10 weeks. I have another YouTube channel that is monetized. It is an aviation YouTube channel and I took probably four years to monetize that particular channel. For this particular channel, let's monetize it in a way that's very helpful, inspirational, motivational, and educational. For those of us that are just in a point of our life, we're like ready to, we're ready to get back to it. All right, so thank you. And I hope you find these videos helpful. I'm going to put together a separate playlist about the videos where I'm monetizing the channel. If you are starting your own health and fitness YouTube channel, share with me in the comments what it is. And I'd love to subscribe to it. Thank you. Talk to you soon.